Hi, my name is Will Fleshman. I'm 27 years old and I'm from um, Austin, Texas. And I decided to come here in Quito, Ecuador, uh, to travel for four weeks to um, learn Spanish and also to try to volunteer at the same time just to keep me busy and to do something. Um, I'm a, I just graduated uh, this month in August. I'm a physical therapist. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump in. Um, the local uh, Broader View coordinator uh, was fantastic. Um, they provided everything, all the information to me, and they were available to answer questions uh, whenever I needed, and they're very friendly and uh, accommodating. Um, the most surprising thing I experienced here in Quito um, I think uh, how easy it was to get around. Um, taxis are always available, uh, Ubers are really easy to take, and there's so many things in walking distance, I was surprised how easy it was uh, to get around and do everything I wanted to do. Um, the most challenging thing I experienced while I was here, um, I actually became sick about five days ago. I'm still, I'm getting better, but I was still a little bit sick. Um, wasn't much I could do about it, but the the family I lived with, they were um, very accommodating and um, were constantly asking how I was doing, uh, doing little things like making me tea, asking if I needed to go to the doctor. Um, so yeah, it all, it all turned out well, uh, but it was challenging. Um, some tips for future volunteers, I would say uh, just go with the flow. Um, that makes everything um, just more enjoyable. Uh, it'll, yeah, it'll just make you have a better experience if you're just willing to go with the flow and whatever uh, little changes in the scheduling or whatever, just, um, yeah, go with the flow. Uh, some other things volunteers should know before coming here. Um, if you already have a phone, getting a SIM card here is really cheap and affordable and I would recommend that compared to uh, doing a plan if you do live in the United States um, back home. Uh, anything else? Um, pack warm clothes, pack uh, water resistant like for rain, you know, hiking boots, just make sure you pack pretty well before you come here. Uh, the accommodation um, the family was super nice. It was great uh, trying to learn Spanish, so they were really patient in um, making sure to speak Spanish instead of English, even though they, they could speak English. And the food was delicious. The family was loving, and I really felt part of the family by the end of it. Um, and yeah, they were just uh, genuinely good people. Uh, my favorite memory of this trip is pretty tough. I think uh, traveling just around the food was incredible. Um, taking salsa classes, that was a lot of fun. And just my volunteer experience uh, working in the elderly care center, I thought that was very memorable. Um, Prior to traveling, the broader view, very supportive, uh, willing to answer all my questions. And they were, uh, they were continuously sending emails before I departed to make sure I was on top of everything, I had everything I needed. And yes, yeah, so everything was, was good on that end. Um, I found the broader view website just by searching the internet, looking for um, places that would allow me to learn Spanish and also volunteer at the same time. That's how I found it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to speak to other potential um, Broader View volunteers um, on, you know, a case-by-case -case basis, yeah.